my friends, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here, and guess what? We are going to learn how to play Wicked Game. Yes, finally, you get to learn how to play this tune. I love it, you love it, that's why you're here. So let's learn it, shall we? Really, there's four parts to this tune. There's this part in the beginning with the tremolo, right? There's that part. There's the main riff. It's repeated a lot. There's the verse. Which is three chords, basically. Uh, B minor, A, and E major. Uh, B minor, A major, E major. From here on out, B minor, A, and E. So we got that, and then we got the... We got the chorus, the chori. We're just gonna go like this. And I apologize for my rattling B string. Last time I adjusted this guitar was in the winter and it's summer now and there's a lot of humidity, so. Getting some buzzing. So, we got four parts basically, and the song is going to be based in B minor. We're in standard tuning. Uh, the chords, told you what the chords are, really that's the whole tune that goes throughout, uh, but the guitar part changes, but we're really just playing those three chords. So if you're a bass player, uh, very easy song. Okay, obviously I'm using a Strat. We want something with some sort of tremolo. Uh, that's going to give it that nice old school sound. I'm playing through this uh, Fender. Um, what is it? What are you? Blues Junior. That's been super modded by my buddy Greg Ellis. And uh, and I'm running through. What am I running through? Really, I'm just running through the amp, and I'm using a little bit or a lot of bit of TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb okay any reverb will do the reverb on the amp would work just fine on this one and uh, but you want it nice and thick right so we have that nice hall type sound you want it to go for a while if you don't have that sound it's not going to give it that nice romantic uh, dark sound okay good all right so let's start with the first lick here and uh, I said we were in standard tuning. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the bar in hand already, and you're going to pick the B string, and you're going to dive it down a bit, and then you're going to, and this, this is something you just want to use your ear. You can get real technical, say we're, we're probably going down a whole step, or, um, and that's fine, I could analyze it, but uh, most of you are just going to use your ear, that's what I do. Uh, if I analyzed it, it would probably be, let's see. Probably a half step, actually. Um, so you're just giving a little bit of a dip. And then while it's low, while, while you've got the bar bent down, you're going to pick and fret the seventh fret of the second string and then lift that back up, so like this. That's what you're going to do every single time. And then you're going to pick, slide down, and pull off. So you won't hit the E string like I did. You're going to go. Okay. One way you can do that is you can take your, your pinky. I'm trying to show you here without other hands on the guitar. But you can take your pinky. It's usually what I do. And I tuck it underneath the first string. I do this a lot. Most lead guitar players do. Uh, they're muting other strings. So that's a little tidbit that you can use. So if I'm picking this going down, I can, somewhere around the second or first fret, I can pull off and not hit that high E string because I have it muted with my right hand. Okay, and then you repeat it again, but this time we have this Okay, it's a little arpeggio, and arpeggio is when we play a chord with the notes being separate. So we play, instead of playing like this, we play them separately. OK? 
okay? And in this case here, you basically have a D power chord, right? You have your third and fourth fingers here at the seventh fret of the third and fourth string, and you have your first finger here at the fifth fret of the second string, and you're going to rake across those three strings. So, but what you want to do is instead of where you hear all those notes, you want to just roll them off like this. Okay, now I'm doing a little bit of muting, so what you want to do with this particular tricky little lick is you want to do it over and over again until you get it nice and smooth. You want three separate notes instead of, you know, you don't want to do that. That sounds poopy. So mute it. And you're going to walk that down. So after the arpeggio, that's seven, six, four on the G. And then you're going to go. Now what we're doing here, we're going to do that a lot throughout the song. So I want you to learn the technique that I'm using here because it's going to sound nicer, it's going to be easier, and you're going to use it a ton. So what I want you to do is take your third finger and put it at the second fret of the D string, okay? Or also known as the fourth string. And you're going to slide up to the fourth fret, play this note, the second fret, and you're gonna do this. You're gonna go. So notice my third finger sliding up. And then two and one. And basically what we're playing is, it's almost like a mini F sharp minor chord. And then our E chord. You're not playing the actual chord, but I'm telling you that's where these notes are coming from. So you're gonna go. looking at it, you're going to hit those two notes, you're going to come back up and hit that guy, and then put your first finger here. But essentially it's resolving to an E major chord, okay? So... Get it? So the whole lick in the beginning there is... Okay, so then we got the verse, and the verse is real easy. We have B minor, A, and E, okay? Now, a B minor is a B minor. Depending, you know, wherever you play it, it's a B minor. But obviously, there's some different voices and stuff that we want to be going for. And I'm pretty darn sure from uh, listening and watching live um, that the chords that our uh, guitar player is playing is are going to be open chords or, or closer towards the nut down here. So this form of the B minor, this form of the A, and this form of the E. If you don't know those, uh, make sure that you go to yourguitarsage.com or check out my, yeah, go to yourguitarsage.com, get the free ebook, or check out my uh, nine essential chords that every guitar player should know. You can click here and go there. Um, and I won't have that B minor in there, but that free ebook will, okay? So make sure you check that out. Okay, so we got our B minor, A and E. Now, I'm fine with that one. I use this one a lot. Because I got that, that high note up there and I like it. It's not what he plays. But I like the sound, so that's what I play. And then also this A, you saw me doing this. And basically what I'm doing is I'm playing a hybrid A bar chord, A major bar chord. You've seen this one before, it's an E major, but walked up to the A. If you don't know how to play your bar chords like this, check out my uh, two-part video series on bar chords, um, where I'll teach you like nearly 300 chords in, I don't know, 20 minutes, something like that, and you'll remember them too. Oh yeah, you will. Okay, so here's your A major. But what I'm doing is I'm playing it, I'm playing the top part, like the top four strings, and then I'm playing that low A, like that. I bring my thumb around the top to mute that low E string and I go really valuable chord and 
of course, bringing your thumb over the top is very helpful. Um, I teach a lot of guitar lessons about how to do that. So in, in the YouTube engine, type in your guitar sage thumb, and you'll see a bunch of videos. Well, a bunch, I don't know, a few, couple, one. I don't know. No, there's some videos of me teaching you uh, how to use your thumb for playing chords and muting and stuff like that. And you may even find some of me thumb wrestling professionally. That's what I used to do before guitar lessons. So, so, uh, so we got the A, the B minor, uh, A, E, and here you go. Here's that thing again. Right? We're into the verse. this little thing where he'll go just a little dip just a dip into the pond right just dip your toe in there and uh, and get that nice uh, dark tone and uh, does that three or four times and the, and, and the last time he, he almost always does this right before we go into the chorus, so you know that sound. So after the low E, he goes, which is the second fret of the D string, and then one, two, four on the G string. Yeah, I said G string, get your little giggles out. Ha, 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 G string. All right, you back, are you back class? You wanna teach? You wanna take the pick? You wanna teach? Okay. Enough with the jokes. Enough with the G-string jokes. Okay, so we got verse, right? And then we're going to do the main riff, which you're, which you're probably itching to get to. And it goes like this. So basically, you're, you're, you're forming a B minor chord, but you don't need to play this note down here. So you're just going to play the top four strings. So I'll play it a few times, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Basically, you're just playing the top four strings, so that's one little hint. Now I'm finger, I'm doing a hybrid finger pick um, bit here, but you could use a pick or just your fingers, it's okay. But there's this roll. So it's this roll from, from the top to the bottom. I should hit, say we hit the first note on the bottom. Second chord. Third chord. Fourth chord. Fifth chord. So we're going to go. Okay, so now notice that those that when you're playing that, that the, the top string for the first two chords, and then we go to um, you know, so so you're playing the, the top, you know, one, two, three strings, but then you're going to two, three, four. idea okay I'm gonna overcomplicate it here so we've got that that lick which is our main lick let's call it our main lick but then um, 
for our chorus, okay? So this is where Chris is singing, and actually I just flip-flopped these because the part that I just showed you is the main lick. We do that in the beginning of the song. I should, that's fine if I showed that to you already, okay? Now, this is the part that you're gonna play over when Chris is singing, when Chris Isaac's singing, okay? And you're gonna go, um... <laughs> part's really easy, it seems complicated, but it's not. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna do kind of that B minor that we did before, but when we lifted our first finger, and you're just rolling on the top of, uh, let's see. Okay, so you're gonna introduce the chord, basically, with the letter name, bass note, each time. So um, I lied to you, this, <laughs> On this B minor chord, you're going to be playing the thumb, or the, the pick, is going to be playing the D string, and then you're going to roll strings one, two, three, so like this. Then you're going to go to the A, and roll it like this. And then the E string, or for the E chord, you're gonna grab an E, straight up E chord, and you're gonna pluck the low E, and you're gonna roll two, three, and four. Okay, except here, you're gonna end with that lick again. So really, you only get one time through the roll. that slow again. You know, it's so what you'll do is you'll hit that, you'll start that, and again, what you're doing here is you're always kind of underneath the chord a little bit and in pitch, and you're you're strumming slowly and lifting it up. So you got. that nice sound of you dip underneath it, strum it, pull it up, or not pull it up, but let the bar come up naturally, and then give it a little, a little wang bar shake. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, have you learned something here? Hopefully you did. If you did, hit subscribe, all the buttons, all that good stuff. Um, why? Because it's going to make you happy in life. I don't know, because I'm going to give you free stuff. I'm going to give you free guitar lessons and all that fun stuff. Get the ebook. Oh, hey, big stuff. Go to the Unstoppable Guitar System, get in that whole system for one dollar less than a bottle of water, which you shouldn't be drinking. Shouldn't be drinking bottles of water anyhow. You should be drinking. Uh, I don't know. Have your own little Voss bottle or something like I do. Don't be using plastic, right? Ruin the damn earth, right? Okay. So anyhow, enough of me. Um, you know what to do. Facebook, Twitter, all that liking. I don't know because why? Because this is what we do. Because it's 2015 or whatever year it is when you're watching this, and so. Um, that's it. Since I don't have my pick, here's my uh, Bluetooth uh, earpiece, uh, America Andreas, your guitar stage. See ya. Yeah.